From the temperate and subtropic regions of Europe, North America, and Asia. Asia! <laughs> here is Stella the Stoat. Oh dear, I do hope I'm not late. I don't want to keep Stinky and Jake waiting. Oh, hello, Jake. Uh, hey, hey. Where's Stinky? Well, he, uh, uh, uh... Here I am. Please don't hurt me. <laughs> Why would I do that? Well, we heard that stoats are very ferocious. Oh, that. Well, to tell you the truth, we can be vicious if we have to. <laughs> but by and large, we're very playful animals. Look. Oh. Oh, oh. There's our home. We stoats love to live in the underbrush, usually in an old tree root, a hollow log, or a burrow that we take over from some no-good rodent. Oh, I see. Uh, well, do you usually live in pairs like these two stoats? Yes, that's right, Jake. That way, if we have young stoats, one of us stays behind to care for them while the other goes out and hunts for food. Mm -hmm. Well, you certainly are fast. I mean, you move so quickly and gracefully over the ground, up the trees and everywhere. It's true, we are very quick and good at climbing trees, but don't worry, we would never hurt you unless we felt we were in danger ourselves. Phew, that's good to know. Well, uh, uh, Stella, tell us more about your fur. You're not a fur taker, are you? Because <sighs> if you are, I'm getting tough with you and Junior here. No, 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 fur taker, this, this is our own fur. Yeah, we yeah. were wearing it when we came in. Yeah. Oh, then I beg your pardon. It's just that we stoats are also called ermine. And for years we've been hunted and trapped so that people could wear ermine coats made from lovely fur like this. Well, I was just asking about your fur because I heard that there were white stoats as well as these brown stoats. Oh, yes, but those are actually the same stoats, Jake. You see, like a lot of animals, our coats change color. In the winter we turn white to match the snow. And in the warmer months we have brown stoats to blend in with the trees and leaves. Everything you've told us makes stoats sound nice as can be. Yeah, and we are nice, except when we're hunting. Oh, well, uh, what kind of animals do you hunt for? Oh, frogs, birds, insects, rabbits, and eggs. Eggs? Well, that's perfect. They can't run, they can't hide, and they can't call for help. Oh, but you still have to be careful. If a mother bird comes back and finds this stoat stealing one of her prize eggs, she's going to be very angry. That's why stoats always sneak up on our prey, even when it's an egg. Oh, looks like this stoat has little problems, Stell. How's she gonna carry that egg out of there? Yeah, Stinky's right. She can't fit it in her mouth, and it would be too dangerous to stay there and eat it. Well, what's she doing now? Oh, it certainly would be too dangerous to eat the egg in the nest. That's why we stoats have learned to roll eggs by pushing them along with our nose. Wow, she's really moving that egg downfield. She's at midfield. She's going for the goal. There she goes. She's going to score. Go, stoat, go! Yes, and when she gets that egg far enough from the bird's nest, she'll crack the shell open and lick out the egg inside. Oh, it's high in protein and just what a stoat needs to keep our beautiful fur shiny and soft. <laughs> well, I can certainly see why stoats are considered so ferocious. Yeah, especially by eggs. Yes, but remember, we're only ferocious when we're hunting or defending ourselves. You've got that straight. Uh, yes, yes, um, yes, um. Otherwise, we're as sweet as can be. Well, it, it would be sweet of you to sing a song. I thought you'd never ask. Uh, and now here's Stella singing the stoat song. hungry and don't need any food as long as I'm not cornered I'll guarantee my mood but if you make me frightened then it's certain you'll get chewed and then I'm bad and sad to say was once described as rude Quite nasty for my size. There's do's and don'ts about me, so do learn them by rote. Don't ever tie me down, because that's tethering's fruit. 
a goat. And don't get any big ideas to make a fur-lined coat. That's the time I draw the line and do show. Stella? Hey, thank you, Stella. Well, Stinky, I think today's guest proved that you don't have to be big to be a ferocious animal. You don't? Of course not. Why, why even an animal as small as you could be ferocious? I could? Sure you could, but you don't really want to be ferocious, do you? Well, maybe I do and maybe I don't, but nobody's gonna stop me. You got that, Snowball? Snowball? And now it's time for... <laughs> Animal Awards. Today we find out which is the most deadly spider. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> Do we have to? I'm scared of deadly spiders. Then don't look. Oh, good idea. Now let's find out if the most deadly spider is the giant tarantula, oh, the desert tarantula, I'm not looking, not looking. the black widow spider, oh, or the wolf spider. Uh. And the winner is... Black Widow, whose poisonous bite is 15 times more potent than the bite of a rattlesnake. Uh -huh. You can look now. Okay. The Black Widow, a very deadly spider and winner of today's Animal Award. <laughs> Stinky, why do you want to be ferocious? Because then I can get what I want when I want it. Well, I want to read a story right now. Well, lucky for you, that's what I want, uh -huh. and this is when I want it. <laughs> Boy, this tough stuff really works. Uh, <clears throat> Once upon a time, there was a mommy weasel, a daddy weasel, and some baby weasels. The mommy weasel told the daddy weasel to go away while she brought up the baby weasels. The baby weasels grew very quickly, and as they grew, they got weaselier and hungrier. These babies need more food to eat, thought the mommy weasel, as she proudly watched the little weasels gobble up the mouse she'd brought home. Be right back, she said. And before those baby weasels could say, can we come too, she brought them back more meat to eat. And so the babies grew up and they all lived weaselly ever yeah, after. The end. Well, yeah. well, that was a pretty good story, Jake. Well, uh, thanks. You know, Stinky, you don't have to be tough around me. I don't? No. Just working with you every day is tough enough. Oh, thank you. Uh, what? <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Chuck, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm being fierce. Oh. Beneath oh. these feathers beats the heart of a ferocious animal. And there is one thing in particular which really gets me going. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah, what's that? <laughs> Guess. <laughs> Maybe later, Armstrong. It's habitat time. That's it. <laughs> you finished? Yeah. So, uh, where are we going? Look, it's the canyons of Arizona. Boy, how could anything live here? It's so canyony. Oh, look, what do you think that is? It looks like a painting of a snake. Oh, oh. <gasps> Whoa, and there's the real thing, a rattlesnake. Bunny, let's get out of here before it sees us. Oh, the bunny, not so close. It's seen us. Hey, Armstrong, huh? over here. What? An another snake? No, no, it's a tail. And it belongs to the collard lizard. Really? It looks like a dinosaur to me. What's wrong with you, Armstrong? I thought you were ferocious. Well, I am. Just, just watch me take on that leopard lizard. Armstrong, you're backing away. Well, only because I wanted to see the dinosaur tracks. Oh, wow. Ooh, and uh, what do we have here? A pallid bat. Pallid? Yeah, he ought to get out more. Bats usually only come out at night. Not like these hummingbirds. As you can see, they're busy, busy, busy during the day. But at night, it's, it's really cold here. So, to save energy, they go into a very, very deep sleep called torpor. Isn't that interesting, Armstrong? Armstrong? Armstrong! Huh? 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 Oh, I guess talking.
talking about? Torpor made Armstrong sleepy. For habitat time, it's Bunny Bear. Sure, sure, check it out. Oh, just back from the canyons of Arizona. Over to you, Ronda, Ronda. Oh. oh, yeah. Once again, I'm Wanda Rat, rodent reporter, getting you answers to today's tough questions. Let's see if one of these animals knows the answer. Excuse me, sir. Yes? Can you tell me which of the following animals is a vegetarian? Is it this deep-sea fish, the stamia, the gila monster, the lion, or the musk deer? Well, sir, which of those animals do you think eats only plants? Is it the Gila monster? I'm sorry, that's wrong! Well, at least I didn't get the trapdoor. What did you say? Trapdoor. Ah! They always fall for that. <laughs> now, the answer. The animal that's a vegetarian is the musk deer. The musk deer lives in Central and Eastern Asia and survives solely by eating vegetation. I'm Wanda Rat reporting on musk deer. Now back to you, Stinky and Jake. Uh, pow, pow, pow. I'm a ferocious little animal. Pow, pow, pow. Right. <laughs> well, that's all the time we have for today. I want to thank today's guests, Galahad the Grasshopper Mouse and Stella the Stoat. Pow, pow, pow. I'm ferocious. I'm ferocious. I'm, I'm, uh, uh, I'm exhausted. Uh, uh. <gasps> Jake, can I stop being so tough? It's too much work. I want to go back to being my sweet old self. Stinky, I'm happy to have you back. Oh, thank and you. until you come back, remember to keep seeing the world through the eyes of animals. Bye. I'm going to fall down now. You... Ah.